I completely welcome the Supreme Court judgment. This pre-trial arrest is completely abominable. Uh, is is not acceptable at all. The you can't keep people incarcerated before they are found guilty via a trial process. And secondly, the cases which the ED and CBI file are all based on documentary evidence. So what is the purpose of keeping somebody in for uh, in judicial custody for so long? I think it's very unfair that Mr. Sisodia had to spend 17 months in uh, judicial custody. And I'm glad that the Supreme Court stepped in. I wish they had stepped in earlier. Sir, this is a political crisis which happened a uh, few days before, sir. Uh, Sheikh Hasina's son spoke to ANI recently and says that uh, he strongly suspects ISIS over the issue, but he is not sure uh, on the US involvement or not. He clearly says that. How do you see his... I have no direct knowledge of what transpired in uh, uh, Bangladesh other than from media reports. Hmm. But it's also very clear that uh, Sheikh Hasina had lost popular support and her conduct in the past had also been very draconian. Hmm. And you know, um, jailing political opponents, uh, disappearance of student activists are also being reported. So I really do not know how the ground under her slipped so fast. But obviously, she had lost all support from all institutions there. Yeah. Whether the process was constitutional, unconstitutional, I don't know. But it is a very worrying sign. I mean, governments must be removed through process and not through uh, force and, uh, and abrupt uh, people action. But whatever it may be, our primary concern is the safety of our citizens in Bangladesh and the integrity of our borders and make sure that uh, our national security is secure. That is my only interest and that is the interest of everybody in India, all political parties and we are completely with the government in being united in this. Sir, there was too much report on, his, uh, on her asylum, that she is uh, applying visa for somewhere, uh, some reports says London, some reports says US. But his son clearly denied and she, uh, he says that uh, she has not applied uh, uh, political asylum. See, this, she is at the moment in India, as, mm. as that's what I know. And we will go by whatever decision the government of India takes. I mean, in this issue, as far as foreign policy is concerned, as far as national security is concerned, we are all one with the government. What about this? Because now BJP is clearly a targeting Congress party that uh, LOP will not utter a single word and there is a uh, video showing that uh, some uh, people are... Uh, See, we have again very clearly said our primary concern is the safety of our citizens in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. And of course we want uh, human rights to be respected in Bangladesh and the rule of law to be established again and uh, in Bangladesh to be a peaceful uh, neighbour and that is our interest and for a, for a country to be a peaceful neighbour of course they need to ensure that the rights of all their citizens are protected whether they are minority, majority, whether they belong to any faith or whether they don't belong to any faith that does not matter as long as we need to maintain law and order, peace, constitutional stability of Bangladesh is very very important for India's security as well Sir, would you like to suggest anything to government over the Bangladesh issue? No, I'm, I'm, I, I think, I, as I said, our primary concern is the safety of our citizens mm. and uh, the security of our borders. And overall, we have to make sure that whatever form of government Bangladesh uh, forms, I don't know, it's, it's their sovereign right to form a government, that government maintains good relationships with India and is not against Indian interest. I mean, Indian interest is paramount to us. Uh, yesterday's cabinet meeting happened. And on the cabinet meeting, uh, they have decided on Supreme Court SCST issue. They said there is no provision for creamy layer. Congress also held a meeting. The Congress party will articulate its position definitively very shortly. The, P the party is going through internal consultations at the moment. Uh, sir, uh, uh, both houses adjourned day before, sir. What's your take on it? I mean, it's a short session. I wish parliament meets at least for 100 working days a year. And uh, this parliament, uh, the parliament uh, under the um, uh, BJP government doesn't meet enough. And we should meet more often and we should have committee meetings more often. You also, sir, of uh, JPC also, sir, uh, 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 these are th uh, 31 people in the uh, 21 from Lok Sabha. Then. What's your take on the work, sir? Because, uh, no, no, I think it's, I'm happy that the government has sent it to a joint parliamentary committee because this is a, a matter of uh, faith. It's a historical matter. You need great and you need wider consultations with all stakeholders. 
And I'm glad that they sent it to the uh, JPC, but I'm only just disappointed that there are no Muslim women uh, represented in the committee. And I know that the Muslim League is also upset that they have not been rep given representation. Actually, the government must, uh, must answer those concerns as well. But overall, I'm happy it's gone to the JPC. This is what we should do for all legislation. Legislation must go to standing committee or to uh, joint parliamentary committees. Because parliament as a whole, with 543 people, we really can't discuss things threadbare. It has to go to smaller committees, which can go into the details and then submit a report, which the parliament can later uh, debate on. And that's the right way to do things. Sir, before the, before the government table, the bill, a Congress stand was, will wait for a TDP and JDU stand. Now, no, no, we are very clear. The bill as it stands, we do not want the bill to be, uh, uh, we don't accept the bill. But now that it's gone to JPC, let's wait for the report of the JPC.